Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. And, uh, today, I think we're just going to play a little bit of Minecraft. I've had a very long and very long and tiring day today. <laughs> work was super long and uh, not really stressful, but just uh, a lot of work, a lot of staring at spreadsheets, which I don't know, staring at a computer screen to play games may not be much better for my eyes, but definitely not having to think about much more math than uh, what adds up to 64 might be uh, better off for me. I um, I also spent a little bit of time thinking about what I was going to play today because we've been doing the No Man's Sky streams, but uh, yeah, I wasn't necessarily feeling it today because I didn't get the time yesterday uh, to... That was a little weird. Uh, we didn't get the time... Uh, yesterday to really grind for stuff and I know that some grinding is needed and I, again I don't think that that necessarily makes for the most entertaining uh, stream so wasn't necessarily feeling it today and um, yeah so I decided to start a new Minecraft world just for the stream we're using a shader pack we're using the continuum shader pack are we on creative one sec I do like to leave cheats enabled just in case we future, but okay, so we broke our chest, but we did get all this stuff out of it first. Yeah, okay. So we don't really have any any coal or anything. We'll just do a little bit of exploring. We got a cave right behind here. Get ourselves some some charcoal. I don't think I'm familiar with that effect. Is that because there's water above? No, surely not. Is that just a cave effect now? I don't remember the dust falling from the ceiling. There's not much in that cave. Um, go over there. That looks like a cave. But yeah, I finally wanted to uh, play something that looked look nice and use the shader packs that I had downloaded. I got them working some time ago, but then when I decided to play the randomizer stream, it was on 1.4. My shaders wouldn't work for it yet. Yeah. Yeah, I like flashing. Still tweak the settings a little bit. Stuff in here. It's probably iron, even though it kind of looks gold with this resource pack, but I don't want to ball. <laughs> There's a cavern down here. Lighting pack particularly makes it look dark. Can we just kind of get to it from the side here? About us. Oh, that's what coal looks like? That is weird coal. Maybe it's, maybe it's incompatible. Maybe this, uh, Resource pack is incompatible. I don't know. It's kind of black on that side. It's like shiny on this side. I guess we'll see if anything else looks wrong. Shiny. Hole. Mm, would not be fun. Let's put it in here. Let's grab this one. Get a couple. Side here. Fill the hole on the side. Yep. Back up as we dig. Grab it. Grab it. Ah, okay. That's fine. We got we got ten. Get out of here. Take a look around, see where we're at. I just generated a random map. Um, well, I typed in a seed name so that I'd be able to get back to it if we had to. Let's get down there. Getting a rain. Prepared to fight anything yet, but definitely want to get somewhere safe. We are on, let's see. Yeah, we're on normal difficulty. Jungle planks. I'll take the oak planks and make sticks out of them. That. Couple. 
I wonder if the shader lets you use light from your torch. Doesn't look like it. Oh no, it does. Barely. It doesn't register as light until you actually place the torch as far as processing, um, generating monsters and whatnot. Great ravine. Now let's check out what's up above. Got some thunder happening too. I'm I forget if mushroom blocks give you... Give me anything? It can do anything, does it? Tearing up the mushroom. What about the stalk? Nothing! Oh, maybe it's just a random chance of giving you a mushroom. Okay, that's, what I, that's kind of what I wanted. Replant some stuff. See myself making a sustainable mushroom garden right away. Of course, I say that now, and then who knows what I'll make in the near future. Hey, Matt. Hey, City Skylines. Um, I didn't want to get burnt out on it. I wasn't really feeling it the last couple weeks, and uh, so I started playing No Man's Sky, which I've been really into that. Um, but I do want to go back to City Skylines. I'm definitely not done with it. Um, I just have some cleaning up to do on it, and I need some free time. I've had a lot to do with work lately, so I haven't had much off-stream time. And, uh, oh, hello. Oof. <laughs> we almost got knocked back off of the cliff. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and could look even nicer. I, I've got a better shader pack, too. It's just, uh, not quite ready for 1.14. Uh, I want to get down off of this giant hill and see if we can find, like, a cool cool place to make a small base or something, even if it's a temporary base. Uh, is it, I mean, it's, we have a white sky. These guys are either spawning because it's, well, I guess it's storming, so it's not as bright, and then they're spawning under the trees. Flowers. Yeah, you know, we're going to need some wool. One. Seen plenty of sheep, so we're gonna want to bed. Hey, I saw you. Ah! I thought you were a sheep. But it must be it must be nighttime right now. Or at least maybe this is a mechanic of storms that I wasn't really made that aware of that I mean I guess it makes sense the sun isn't beaming down on the monsters. Hey, we have horses really writing down any coordinates yet either, though. <laughs> I saw that. We're, um, so hot trying to explore before we've even got items. Is he still chasing me? He is. He may kill me. Nope, yep. Well, we didn't really have anything other than that coal and the torches that we've made. What do I want to do here? I'm back in the same place. Let's go. We went up and over that hill over there before. Let's go up over here. The spawn during storms. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't even play very much um, during uh, during storms on the randomizer challenge. I don't think. Got lucky for a lot of it. Sneakily get some wood here. Watching. Walking down out of the woods. Guaranteed. That guy over there seems to already know where we are too. Yeah, here he comes. Just sinking to the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't quite render light well underneath. You get kind of those white, silly clouded shades. Water looks nice though. Get a handful of these. Whoa!
give anyone an aneurysm. What happened? Yeah, let's we'll save and quit. We need to change shaders. We'll change shaders. I have a couple of them. Okay. So that doesn't happen too often. That was bright. Yeah, we'll grab a few of these. Looks like the storm is letting up, and then and then it's just. Gonna... Healer logs. Let's grab some of those. Let's make some sticks. Yeah, I think something about standing underneath. Super dark. Either that or that's this is just how dark it's supposed to be out here right now. I'm coming up or is that the moon? Against a wall here. Let me adjust the brightness up a little bit. That's how dark this shader's supposed to be. No! Ah, he's chasing still, isn't he? And we're in water and we're gonna get blown up. Yep. <laughs> hey, we didn't get hurt though. We were standing in shallow water. Thanks for making me some stairs, buddy. Man, you probably can't see anything on the stream right now, can you? Let's um, let's see if we can't get somewhere that's a little brighter. I think we wasted our, not wasted, but I think we lost our entire day. I think we lost our entire day to uh, the storm. Like, that's probably diorite. I think, uh, let's make some wood stuff really quick. seeing things too because it's so dark. Oh, let me turn off the, the HUD up there. Where's the ales? Completely forgetting where the menu option is to go FPS. Show FPS. I thought I turned that off earlier. It's been up this whole time. I hear you out there. Oh, it was Andesite. Oh, I was right about that one. That one's diorite. Diorite. Let's, uh, let's kind of dig over this way and get some cobblestone. Flippin' dark. I see him over there. We're in a headband. Slowly making his way over, maybe. <laughs> I think we can knock him back faster than he's moving over here. Hang out right here and keep knocking him back for a minute. Trying to think of what we want to, what we want to do with this playthrough. If we want to make it like super casual, yeah. Hopefully, it won't be so dark once we get some torches made. I just have to go back over to uh, the cave across the river and grab some more, uh, some more of that coal. I could just make a sword. Getting close. Yep, you got me. <laughs> Get out of here. The uh, do the rotten flesh lottery. Nope, you got me. Some more cobblestone really quick. There's like a current right here from where the water is coming around the crafting table. And I guess we'll make 
squinting <laughs> to try to see if there's anything else around. I guess we'll make a, a quick axe too. safely make our way back out. Seems like there's anybody else around. How slow is time moving? Got another little guy. Nope. Okay. That's a big guy. It's interesting that the sword glows when you hit with it. I eat again. That time I didn't get sick. We come out the other side of that cave. I'm completely turned around now, but I mean, we're not we're not lost from anything important. We just need to find some more more coal. You can make a um, charcoal, right? With wood, you just have to get like wood logs and burn them. Am I remembering that correctly? How long it's been since I've regularly played Minecraft? I talked a little bit about it during the randomizer series, but. barely see this too. Stripped logs, all that stuff is super new to me too. No way I'm going to be able to get all of this tree where we can barely see anything. That's got to be lava over there, right? Logs, gravel, andesite, cobble. So, we need some more cobblestone, and then we can make a furnace. Oh, it's worse. Gotta be lava, but I mean, at least it's lit up, right? The shine over here, I bet that was... Oh yeah, we're back at the cave. This is the same cave, and that's a much further drop than it looks like. Let's, um... Let's staircase down. Why not? We got nothing to lose. Normally, I don't want to go into a ravine after I've already, like, been playing for a while, and I don't want to die down there. I have to go down cautiously, but... We can kind of throw caution to the wind, because our spawn is, like, right across the way. I fell further than I could see. Okay. Safer, even though I'm making that light up there. Oh, let's just dig down. Like number one rule of Minecraft, never dig straight down, but okay, we fell. Oof, okay. Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's go right back over there again. Maybe even grab our stuff. We are red. Oh, that's spider eyes. I remember that. Spider eyes reflect red in the dark. Kind of. Spider. Go straight back down. Let's see, we started digging down here. Oh man, we got a bunch of guys coming after us now. This way. Skeleton that's gonna shoot at us while we pass by. Let's run, run, run. Okay, we fell here. Gotcha. I was starting to dig down here, but I guess we fell here too. Oof, okay. What's with all the flashes? Hi. Ah! We might as well be playing on hard mode. Okay, it's daytime now. Now that it's pretty much daytime. I'm not as worried about it, but how many times do we want to restart? Get out of my way. I'm gonna do it again. Third time's a charm, right? Oh, it's an Enderman. Don't hit me. Oh, there's a skeleton down here. Alright, alright, alright. 
now that we can see, I don't have as much of a problem with being up here. Let's let's go over this way. So we kind of tried running it over and across that way to maybe we go we go this way. Let's follow the river this way. We haven't discovered anything cool yet. Not a village, not a we haven't even traveled that far from spawn at all. Did stop at this tree, is that spider? It is. Lord, leave me be. Going back to the same tree for wood. Or giving tree. Hopefully get started for like the third time at least. Let's hopefully get some torches. Worked out. the spider to come after me. Cave. Just have a couple of these. Logs. Let's make a crafting table. Make sticks. And make the axe. We'll definitely need to get some more wood. Then let's get some cobblestone really quick from right under here, I guess. Keep seeing that squid and thinking that spider found its way around. At least the eight that we need. Furnace. Test this because I haven't done it in a while. Burn logs. The <laughs> I'm using planks. Okay, yeah, charcoal. That's what I was okay, so now we can at least carry a torch. The, let's... Might as well use my hands like a wooden, wooden axe is almost useless. Seriously, I feel like it takes the exact same amount of time. It may be like half a second faster to use the wooden axe. at least with these uh, dark oak trees or these large trees you can staircase around them to get up higher there's always a pain when the tree that you're trying to chop down is just one square too high you want every bit of wood so the leaves despawn and look nice everything from the one we're standing on. Looking through the leaves, it doesn't look like there's any more for this tree. I like that trees drop sticks as of I don't know how long ago, but That is not ingrained in my memory. That wasn't ingrained in my memory until uh, playing more recently. Uh, not the randomizer necessarily, but the uh, testing out stuff right before playing the randomizer. I was like, that oh, sticks. So 
the logs burn better, right? So then, how many can you get from one log? Also, I like that when you leave the crafting table, all the stuff goes back into your inventory. Quality of life improvements. Finish one more. Ah, you can't. Okay. Happened. That's weird. What just happened? It just like disappeared out of my inventory. You see that? It didn't want to craft the torch and then it disappeared. Maybe it did craft the torches and then it just disappeared in a weird way. Yeah, we have 24 now. Using lag. Game like Minecraft should not have, like I can understand frame rate, right? But it shouldn't have like processing lag like that after it's been out for 10 years and it didn't originally have that lag. I feel like it's had it off and on. It definitely has had it for servers, but like, I guess the issue is even the single player game is essentially on its own hosted server or processed that way, right? invite people to your current map. I'm not super inspired by this map yet. Like I like big forests and stuff, but start out in because yeah, I mean, you saw what happened earlier. We have some torches now though, so if it days over, hopefully we'll be able to find a place to kind of pull up the morning, maybe start digging around a little bit. Bare bones right now, though. We gotta pick a place that we want to make a cool base. Oh, I play. Don't know if this biome is gonna be the one for me. Yeah, when I would play before, ooh, pumpkin. When I would play before, I would uh, load up a mist amidst some meat I don't have a sword I can make one but I don't have one yet Wow runner and uh, yeah I would check out like where the biomes were never really considered it I mean it is kind of cheating but it's also you know single-player experience so you know as long as you don't cheat to the point where you're ruining the game for yourself and then, uh, you know, if you can make it more enjoyable, that's great. That's how I feel about it. I'm thinking about making a sword, but then do I even want to bother with a wooden sword? in the distance. Can't see because I'm weaving back and forth. There we go. Over there. Maybe we'll go check that out. I mean, it looks snow covered though. I don't want everything we build to get covered in snow, but there might be some cool space below that mountain. Check it out. I want more. Sorry, cow. Ah, ah, ah. Get away. Get back. Of a birch. Oh, that's still the same kind of forest, I bet, because it's just mixed trees. Definitely some birch trees over there. Like some pines in the distance. Okay, 
it's over here by the mountain. Like dew. Like it's supposed to be wet, but it hasn't rained, and I hope it doesn't start raining. It's pretty well, it rained like a day ago. Savannah. Happening with that light. Yeah, we're gonna have to that are changing the shader. I mean, it's very pretty, but I'm gonna have to see if there's like an updated patch for it or something. Also, the sun's going down. And yeah, look at that. It's because we're underneath something. Okay, I think I know what that setting is in order to improve that. That later. Hoping that doesn't happen when you're like inside of a house, cause yeah. The things that look nice look very nice, like the glow of the lava is really cool. Um, you know what, let's go next to the lava. Ironically, after the experience we had earlier with the monsters, I feel safer. Dude, you just beat yourself? Nice little ambient glow from the lava over here, though. Immediately make a better pickaxe. Wood is. Let's go ahead and just replace them all with stone. So we should be good to go up another square. Actually, just right here. I don't know what's up with chatbot. Streamlabs chatbot doesn't want to refresh much. You have lava dripping through, don't we? I saw it. Oh. It was there, I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Kinda neat. Won't hurt us. At the very least, we'll make ourselves a little room and get some cobblestone out of it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put down, you know what, it might be kind of cool to have the furnace here and have the lava drip on top of it. Let's say, three to one. satisfying about clearing out higher shape digging in Minecraft you're just like anticipating waiting getting rid of that final block that one looking at the shape of the rectangle you're like yeah I must must get rid of you
like two to one. Barely. Direction are we looking here when we look out? Oop, save a screenshot. We are Moon would have come up through here, down that way. The sun would then come up over here once it's ready. Some more light over there. Might be more lava. I'll through here really quick to see if we can find anything neat. One thing, ah! One thing about using shaders is you can get a little bit further down these hallways. Oh, ho, 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 no. Sorry, friend. Not accepting visitors at this time. Yeah, it gets a little wonky when you start getting into, like, a lot of shade. I <laughs> got an arrow in the back of my head. <laughs> My head has seen better times. I'm trying to think of the different types of armor you can make. You can't make boots with leather though, can you? And also it, requ it would require four. But I was just trying to think. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> Hoping we would at least get some, some coal back in here. But that's going to be a random... Random crapshoot we just dug into the side of the hill. So unless it's actually exposed. So we're gonna fall down the hill at me. If I were to I don't wanna kill the source block, but if I were to block that off for a minute. <clears throat> I wanna see what it'll uncover. Put a torch up here at least. We could put torch in our offhand. Offhand. I think that works. Yeah, it does. Can always stay lit. Bam. Grass. Expected. I was really hoping maybe we had some some visible. Ah, there we go. Charcoal on the wall. Right for mobs. The sun's gonna come up. Soon spiders down there. You can see their eyes. Cool. Got some coal. This won't be our permanent. Let's see. In case we get lost. Our home base is going to be at X258 49. And you can see what kind of processor I have and what kind of graphics card I have. Do we want to take these with us? Thank you. Yeah, I found that um, Ryzen was a good option for me when I made my PC. Um, 
last, not last year, it was the end of the previous year, so. So it is still a good one and will last me for a little while to come. We have a creeper down there by all those sheep. I do need some wool, and we do have a sword and some food. We'll be fine. We may not come back to that little hole that we dug. We just needed the resources. Take our home with us. Ooh, you're burning up. Remember the days when zombies used to drop feathers? That one off on me. Get over here and be mindful of that creeper and get some of this wool from the sheep. Could have wandered off, he could have despawned, maybe. I don't think they despawned like that, but could also have ended up in a hole. Make a bed with three different colors. We'll find out. Let's take our crafting table. spotted bed. Fine, we'll find one more sheep. Or two if they're all black. Like... Loud sounds. Black wool. Look at the white. White sheep. We have two white wool. For the spider. Ground's a little too shiny. Yeah, I'm definitely not beholden to this uh, this particular shader. Though, uh, while I would prefer to play with uh, cool effects. I would uh, definitely either upgrade, uh, update this shader to one that doesn't have the glitches if it exists, or um, the other eggs. in case we can start a pumpkin garden later. Vanna looks nice. You ever just wander around and uh, really just thinking to yourself, you know, I'll I'll know home when I find it. Let's get like get a really good look and that's it. That's where I want to build a base. I built into the side of mountains, I built into the uh, middle of villages, even a big glass dome underwater before. Ooh, speaking of villages, that looks like a desert village. Pay them a visit. But yeah, you know, you just know you found your home. You know, with the new um, villager additions that were made in more recent updates, hanging out in a village or next to a village might be kind of a cool idea. Like maybe we make our own house on the outskirts of the village and we're the one weird villager. Eventually we're mayor. A little presumptuous.
Yeah. They're all wandering around. Let's check them out. We have Rod. Rods. Oh, we have a raider tower like right there. At least one iron golem. I would want the cactus, but sure. Actually, you know what? Let's check all these. Thanks for all the bread. I in there too. I'll just leave it for now. We check off the buildings. If so. Oh, there's some over there. It's not for the water to jump. No, we're not. Yeah, cool, it's like right up against the water. Going. Go, let's go. Very basic houses. Quite a few of them. Had we not uh, found the sheep that we did, we could take take a bed. <laughs> Chests. Unless there's one in this uh, last building over here. Probably not. It's just another little basic house. Pretty cool though. So there's so many. I feel like I don't want to cause trouble for the village by living in it. There's a swamp over here. Do we want to be the nearby ogre? It lives in the swamp next to the village. Check out the perimeter around the area here. Ooh, it's kind of like a little island right there in the middle. Kind of like the idea of making like a, our own hut in the middle of the swamp with like a secret base underneath it. So like outside looks like a wooden... Uh, a plain hut, like a witch's hut, and then you go inside and take like a trap door down. Then we can maybe make an underground tunnel over to the village so we don't have to risk uh, leading enemies over to them. Oh. Around this way, I think it's probably a really relatively small swamp because we came around the one side of it unless it continues really like straight and long in that direction this area here horses start running a little bit we have food and baby horse eggs you know where we can find sheep Ooh, look at this like cut out here Kind of neat. It's a nice shape, but you, you could be attacked from all sides. Standing up on the ridge. Property is three quarters ridge. Goes that way a little ways. Back over here. I kind of like that idea. Let's make a temporary hut that is just literally a hut. <laughs> I 
I don't know how risky it is being that close to the raider base, but I've fought them before. As long as we have a place to hide, not too, too bad. And if we don't lead them into the village proper, so if we get uh, cursed, then we just need to stay away from the village for a while. Like 20 minutes or something, or maybe more. I don't know how long it is off the top of my head, but I looked it up before. And uh, Matt, I think you helped me uh, get some info on it too when I was first playing. Yeah, okay, so there's like this little island over here. I like that. I like kind of the water surrounding, so any enemies that do want to approach, they have to get down in the water and they're slowed down. So we want a perimeter. We build this, build this up just a little bit and have some dirt. Not a whole lot, but... Gaps. ourselves right here in the middle of a swamp. I think that's a fun little challenge. I've never made a swamp house before. And I've never found one of those mansions. Are they even still in the game? Like, I never found one before, and then... <laughs> Are they just super rare? here. Maybe we'll shape it up a little. Ooh. That means the sun went behind the trees. <sighs> if we have to, we'll just do... You know what? Do a bed really quick. Like, but yeah, the moon came up and now we have a little bit of light. That's pretty glitchy. The logs. Though sleeping on logs, I don't think would be that bad. Just sleep. By a creeper, blown up by a creeper, blown up by a creeper. Skeleton over there getting burnt. these in and like I was saying kind of shape it up a little bit village is that way built some of these in but let's actually kind of say okay here's the cutoff right bit here make our little island too big then um, we won't really know island crazy about having like I don't I hate the trees I look crazy about having one that close to the perimeter so let's take this one down that sound recognize it oh pigs <laughs> back over here and pick up loot in a minute let's let's think about our footprint here
say inside of our little shack little shack let's make it like a odd numbers seven Village is that way. Maybe we want our front door to be here. This way. That. And then we do need a little bit of dirt on this side. Three, four, five, seven, cool. Pop down some more. Dirt to kind of bulk up this back corner here. Right, let's take a row off the front here. Two. Take a little bit more off here. Alright, let's go Come up here. Off a little bit. is do we just want to go plain old planks we have a bunch of dark oak logs it's the perimeter it's 28 28 dark oak logs oh hi oh what are you doing in my swamp i don't have any emeralds yet cool but uh yeah you guys can hang out if you want to how do you make stripped logs? Do you have to have... What those llama sounds I was hearing? Do you have to have special tools stripped logs? Or do you just hit them with your axe? Like you do the dirt here. using an axe on a log okay so let's say if we were to go ahead and take the dark oak log put it down for our perimeter if we want to make it like a cabin do we want to do like cut it from the side like that put our bed back down because we're going to need to sleep soon sun's going down Kind of a, like a log cabin look. Buffer. So I'll probably have like a one going straight across here. This side we'll want. Nine. Oh, it is nine. You know what? My math was a little bit off, so we may need to do something else with our. Thirty-two. So we didn't have exactly enough. That's fine. Well, we're gonna have doors too. No, oh, this works. Okay. We right click. Oh yeah, we right click. The dark might have actually been a better idea for the swamp, but we'll see. Is it permanently stripped? It is. Makes sense that once you strip it, you can't get it back. 
on script. Uh, let's go on this side. Do I want the door off center? Do I want it right in the middle? What's up, Skeleton Man? I think I want the door off center. I think I want it right here. Have enough dark oak logs for the backside, so maybe we'll finish the backside off with planks. You won't really be able to see it from the other side. here too anyway. There's our framework. Thinking about look here. Move this over one more. table. What's the dark oak door look like? It looks like a normal door with golden hinges. Maybe. Standard old door, right? With the windows. Have around just oak here in the swamp. Let's go with the, let's go with the dark oak for now. Birch might be my favorite door. Maybe. Oh. Died. <laughs> There's our door. I feel like that's backwards. Influence the door by like facing the side. Yeah, that seems right. You can't live in here. You gotta like, you gotta go back on that side. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be over there. No, quit dragging them through my house. Get up here. There we go. Let's get. Let's make the rest up. Let's make the rest out of, uh, well, let's make another layer out of oak planks and just kind of see what this wood contrast looks like. Three woods might get a little weird right here. But I would probably put one there. We're going like super basic right now. You know. Fireworks when that happens. Um, I'm thinking maybe we want to revise this, right? Yeah, I'm going to revise this. I think what I'd like to do is put it up on stilts. Yeah, we do have all of the land around it. that contrasting to the stilts because the whole reason for the stilts is in case of a flood because it's just perpetually flooded house is up out of the water That's how the witch's uh, hut is right maybe we don't make it this Big. Maybe we come in one. Yeah, out here we come in. in each direction. Did make it a F5 is tiny though. But yeah, our, our other idea to like crawl down like that. Five. 
We do like five by. We do five by seven. There are strip logs here. Let's say. What we might do later, we don't have to do it right now because we just spent some time digging around. We... Dig the dirt back out. Water reclaim the area underneath. Shears these and reclaim them. It tall enough to walk under? Probably. Probably do. So we have sticks. Let me look up the recipe for scaffolding too. That's something else I haven't really used much. Dirt pillars. Get out of that habit, I'm sure. For scaffolding being very expensive. Did I put that there? Oh, I put it under the door, that's right. <laughs> Obstruction. And we can also take five by seven, thirty five. can get up there. Good and dark? No, we're good. Though we should probably put some torches under here for right now. Burn our house down. platform that way we want to be our chief means of getting up do we want to do something clever do we want to do something like a ladder another couple of these Okay, let's say, you know, if this was the house, I think I would want it to have some sort of, like, front landing. Shaped a little differently. <laughs> we just picked up our...
at. There, it would be half slab, so nothing should spawn on it. We may build it up a little bit if we want to put a railing. Two, honestly. Is that going to stick out? Oh, we can't even put one there. Does this work? It does work. That worked for mobs. If it confuses mobs, that'd be great. Village right here. I feel like we'll probably want to replace this wood. So light, but it is the type of wood that grows here. I'm gonna get an idea of what the front of this place is. Right, right. Like, the wood is just too nice, a nice bright wood, to be a swamp. Well, I don't necessarily want it to be creepy, but I mean, let's be honest, if somebody's got a shack in the middle of a swamp, it's not going to be... It's birch colored. Some more wood. Let's write down our coordinates here. New home is at X five sixty two. About to go down, so we will sleep. Fireworks happen, and the sun is down, we'll sleep, and then we'll go grab some more wood. Our front door is facing... I always have trouble finding it south. The village is south of us, so there's north... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I couldn't figure this out in my head. The sun sets in the west. Pillagers to our east, and the sun will rise over the pillagers every morning. Those are the, the clouds being cast across the... Pretty cool. Flash is a little bit too much, though. head back towards the village and then to the right because we can go get some acacia wood and see what that looks like here because it should be more red right acacia tree I don't I don't like to take like the one standalone tree on top of a hill that looks aesthetically pleasing something like this one. Go ahead and get like three, three or four trees. 
have needs. We have material needs. We'll use this um, kind of orangish acacia wood. I think we can kind of make ourselves a Halloween-y, <laughs> very least autumn looking swamp house that I think will fit a little bit better than that bright wood. I think the bright wood would look nice for like a village in the snow or something like that. Grab another. Run around and grab the saplings and replant them too. It's only right. You can't care for the environment in a video game. How are you going to care for the environment in real life? Replant your trees. First one I chopped down, we still don't have any. Sapling, there's acacia saplings. There's saplings. There's a couple. They wouldn't want to regrow here. They're afraid the guy in a blue t shirt's going to come around and dig them up. Chop them down. Alright, that's probably good. Swamp. Oh. Cave here too. Is that iron? And I can't tell the difference between coal because the coal's going to be iron. That was iron. Mind that takes us a moment to approach our house because uh, air out. Well, it's crafting table again for one. Crafting table with meat. Let's say Oak resource to make ourselves a treasure chest I have the habit of calling it a treasure chest and not just a chest It's just a chest Unless it contains treasure, right? <laughs> Barn. know that we'll never, never need, ever. Useful when it's... We've all got that chest where we put stuff in it and we never pulled it back out again ever. Lots of acacia planks. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't save any logs, I don't know. 
Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have continued the log look going up. Let's see how plain this looks if we just use. It with a full front. I mean, it still looks nice, but we can maybe plant some vines on the side of it, and it doesn't have to be so so light like the ladder is. Maybe we even put vines here. We don't have to use the ladder. I'm gonna partial with this orange wood. I built a base with this before, and I really liked it. And we're, we're not even building a whole base out of it. Like, I imagine the base will be maybe something we, we build down. Back door that we don't really open, maybe. at it the more I think visible like from all sides like I like like big long wide windows so I think I might want but then will the column look weird next to the window here I think it might I think from the outside a column would look better but from the inside wall matching right here on the inside of the window. Super square. The issue might be that if we do a roof, Probably want it to be dark oak, <laughs> which means we got to go back and find some more dark oak. I think we'd want the roof to be a third color. Imagining a dark brown roof of it. We're hanging the. Acacia wood's gonna give us what we want there, so let's see if we can find that looks like a tall tree over there. Let's sleep again. Let's see if we can find Maybe we'll raise it one more so they can't spawn on top. pack makes it a little bit harder to tell when you can go to sleep too because it's usually pretty dark in vanilla minecraft before you can go to sleep but later it still looks like it's sunset i guess when the flickering pretty much stops yeah <laughs> that is when watch for the flicker let's run over 
there's the tree behind that one. Let's run over there and see if we can get ourselves. Top of that hill closer. It's too light. Dark oak tree. Oh no, that's right. They do grow large like that too. called river <laughs> we're standing in like an area that we're just forest just regular forest we have to go back kind of where we came from Make that our last project for the night. It's cool. Here's the outer edge of the swamp. North. Looks like someone made a temporary house out of dirt over here. It's like a trying to be a hill in a cave, but then the river just kind of cut around it. <laughs> half tree. And I dub this region half tree. forest over there. I see it. Here, didn't we? It could be way off base. Our original home was 568, So to face that direction, 658 is this way. Five sixty. No, that's back home. The new one, right? So two fifty eight, six forty nine. This way. Where's that lava? That's where our original home was. Oh, and that's the lava mountain, right? Like, that's where we had our cave up on top. So I think if that's the case, then we came from kind of on the other side of this hill. We didn't bring a bed with us. <laughs> I think I thought that I wouldn't go too far away from home, and now I've journeyed, like, all the way back to spawn. Those pine trees... Bruce, right? They have... Darker wood, but it doesn't really match the same way. Dark Oak's over there. I can see it. We'll go get it. We have to kill a few more sheep. Or we have to run under cover of the night. Stupid. Bum down. Yeah, I remember that hill. That weird glitchy overhang. Our spawn is over here. 
Yeah, spawns like right here. This is where we started. Somewhere near here. Just down on the other side of this hill. Down there. Right here. Yes, this one lone block. Our chest was floating. We popped it. Here's sheep. Your sacrifice will be duly noted. Bed sheep hill. Here's the dark oak. Finish off this tree that we started earlier. Didn't leave ourselves a uh, stand on. Maybe we should bring back like two or three whole dark oak trees. Where do we have dirt? What? Craft here. Doesn't have dirt in their inventory. Tiny oak logs. I say we should get two or three, but these are tedious and full of work. At least they float. Thirty-three. Let's get another one. To it. We take some saplings home, which we had some saplings already, but if we take some more if we take some more saplings home, we could plant some of these nearby in the swamp and chop them up for matching wood. to midnight my time so we're gonna be wrapping up here pretty soon because i'm gonna go to work tomorrow but i'm really glad that i got to play a really chill game whenever i don't know what to play minecraft's always there for me this could be a series let me know what you think um we could continue building and exploring and trying to make a a new base with everything that I'm not used to dreaming um yeah, we can try to make a, a new base and try to try out all of the new mechanics that have come out for Minecraft in the last couple years without having to worry about randomizers giving us loons from sheep and such so I'll remember that and I'll never be able to forget it what do we get Back. back and a half. We want to run. We want to go back to 658, 562. Straighten into the right. Probably see the village again. shiny coal.
Approaching Swamp. Swamp. Six fifty eight, five sixty two. So two hundred more this way. That way. Below the swamp. Hard to slog through the middle of it. So I was preferring to run around it earlier. Maybe we can make our own special path through the swamp. Family of cows here. Wah! Like we were being abducted by aliens every time the sun goes down. But deceptively dark. Get home, we're near the house. Pushed in the swamp. The moon comes out, it's pretty. Put torches under our house. Thing over there that's been lit up. Ah, zombie. The house. Ouch. I swear if we got there and there was a creeper under the house, I'd be so mad. You guys. Your master. Oh, oh, he was waiting for me. We got a boss fight to get to our bed. Ooh, okay. Daytime. Do we just have llamas now? Like, what happened to the... There he is. Quick, quick. Let's make our... Oh, let's eat some bread. so much. There we go. We do an overhang. What I'd like to do... Cook this later. We take a bunch of these. Kind of get an idea of what that overhang will look like, and then we'll wrap up for the So do this. We take dark oak logs. 
sticks. No, not logs. Make this mistake all the time. So we'll probably put a right there on that square, bring it to meet the fence. If we bring the roof around and then kind of bring it, bring it up at an angle a little bit and then flat, I think that might be. We'll do that the next time we play Minecraft. Thanks for spending the Wednesday evening with me. And, uh, not sure what I'll play next time. Um, once I clean up my mods and stuff for City Skylines, we'll get back to that. But I may jump back into No Man's Sky again if I can get some. Uh, some grinding done in between but uh, we'll see we'll see stay tuned for a surprise and i'll at least be back on monday with another stream so until then i'll see you next time